welcome students in a series of geometry today's topic is basics of geometry so here you can see there is a notebook and pencils so i am just making a point by a sharp pencil on a sheet of paper it is a point when we look the sky at night then the distant stars appear as point when we make a square on a sheet of paper we can see there is a vertex of square which is the joint of two sides and this vertex is also an example of point therefore we can say a point is an exact location in a space a point has no length and no width now how we represent a point we represent a point by dot like this and we denoted it by a capital letter like this and we read it like point a have you seen the surface of table and have you seen the surface of football what is the difference the surface of table is flat but the surface of football is curved surface of the page of your notebook is also flat have you seen the floor of your room it is also flat surface of blackboard of your classroom is also flat flat surfaces are known as planes let us see how we represent plane usually we represent plane by a rectangle or a parallelogram like this and we draw three points on the plane but not in a line and it is called plane a b c another way to represent a plane is just by writing a small letter alphabet at the side of plane like this and we read it plane p what are the qualities of plane a plane has length and breadth but no thickness and it extends indefinitely in all the directions therefore we can say it has unlimited length and breadth or we can say this also that it has indefinite length and breadth have you seen the road have you seen the horizon both were examples of line let us draw a portion of line on this paper it is a line we can say a line is a straight path of points that extends on and on in both the directions without ever ending how let us understand it is a paper and it is example of line because these arrow heads tells us that it can be extended in both the direction like this therefore we say that the length of a line cannot be measured or we can say that it doesn't have fixed length let us see how we denote line the line is named by using two points on it it is a sheet of paper and here i have drawn a line here are two points point a and point b so we can say that line ab or line ba both are same thing line ab or line ba ab or ba and when we write like this we put one sign of line above ab or ba another way to represent line is just by writing a small letter alphabet here and we call it line m so here is a line and here point a 
point B, point C. In similar way, we can put so many points on this line. It means we can say a line is made of uncountable number of points. Let us see one more thing. Here is a point A and here is one line. Another line is also passing from this point A. One more line is also passing from this point A. One more line and in similar way one more line is passing through this point A. So we can say that an unlimited number of lines can be drawn passing through a given point. Let us understand one more thing. Here are two points, point A, point B. But we can draw just one line passing through both of the points. It means we can say there is exactly one line passing through two distinct given points in a plane. Let us understand one more thing about lines. If there is line M and there is line N, either they will intersect at a point P or either if there is another line S and another line R. If they are not intersecting, it means they are parallel to each other. It means we can say two different lines in a plane either intersect at exactly one point or are parallel. Now, let us understand one more thing. There are three points, point A, point C, point B, and all are in a line. So we can say three or more points in a plane are called collinear points if and only if all of them lie on the same line. But what if three points are not in a same line? Then they are called non-collinear points. Let us see one more case. There is a point A and more than two lines or we can say three or more than three lines are passing through this same point A. Then we say that three or more lines in a plane are called concurrent lines if and only if all of them pass through the same point and this point is called the point of concurrence. But what if only two lines are passing through each other and not three or more than three lines? then they are called non-concurrent lines. Here is a matchstick. stick. Here is a table. Let us observe the side of a table or we can say edge of the table. Let us observe the edge of this laptop. Here are two points, point A and point B and one line is passing through these points. So it is a line. But here there is a portion of line which is from A to B. This portion of line is called line segment and all were examples of line segment like edge of the table, edges of the laptop, etc. Therefore, we can say that the portion of the line between the points is called the line segment. For example, see again, here are two points and from point A to point B, it is a line segment. So, these are two points of line segment, point A and point B. These points are called endpoints. It means we can say line segment has two endpoints. AB or BA are two line segments and we represent it by the sign of line segment like this. Either we can read it line segment AB or line segment BA and both are same thing. Both have same length line segment AB equals to line segment BA. A line has indefinite length, but what about line segment? The line segment has definite length. For example, it is a line from A to B 
line AB and we can measure this length by the help of ruler. Have you observed the sun rays and this torch and its light, torch light? I will tell you what are these. See, here is a line and line M has one point which is point P. We can draw a ray from this point P. P is a starting point and this ray can be extended endlessly. So we can say that a ray is the part of line that extends indefinitely in one direction from a point. I'm going to draw a ray. Here is a point P which is starting point or initial point for this ray and here is the ray. Therefore, we can say that a ray has one starting point and goes on and on in other direction. Or in another words, we can say a ray has only one end point, which is its starting points. For example, this is a point from where a ray starts. This point is O and here is another point which is on the ray. That is not any end point. It is point A and we read it like ray OA and write like this. Now, I am going to draw a ray OA. How? Let us see. O is a starting point of this ray and A is a point which is on the ray. Here is one more ray which starts from point A and O is a point on this ray. What is the name of this ray? The name of this is ray AO. Ray OA and ray AO are not equal, are not same. Both are different rays. Now, let us understand the difference between line, line segment and ray. Here, I am going to draw one line. It is a line. It is a line segment and it is a ray. Just observe all these. In line, there are two points, P and Q which are on the line and we represent it like this. It is line PQ. On line segment, there are two points P and Q. Both are end points of this line segment and we represent it like this line segment PQ. Here is one ray. Here is one point P which is starting point of this ray and here is one point which is on the ray and it is ray PQ. Now, what is the difference between all? First is a line has no end points. Right? It can be extended in both the directions. But line segment has two end points. A ray has one starting point or we can say only one end point that is P in this case. A line cannot be drawn on a paper. In similar way, a line segment can be drawn on a paper, but a ray cannot be drawn on a paper, just like line. A line has indefinite length, but line segment has definite length which can be measured, but a ray has indefinite length. PQ and QP represent the same line. In similar way, PQ and QP represent the same line segment, but in case of ray, PQ and QP does not represent the same ray. So, in mathematics, what do you need to do? Yes, practice, because practice makes perfect. So, do practice.